the DeWatt automotive jump starter with the USB power bank. Works with V8 engines. 1600 peak amp jump starter. 3.1 amp max USB power. It comes with the cables to hook to your battery. You will hook the cables to your battery before plugging this into the lithium battery. When you hook this up to the battery, these lights will tell you if everything's hooked up right, if it's over current protection, and or ready to jump. To charge this 1600 amp lithium battery, it comes with a 110 wall outlet plug, fast charger, with a USB cable. It also comes with a 12 volt plug that uses the same USB cable. So when you're going down the road, you can plug this into your vehicle and charge your DeWalt lithium battery. I have used this to charge my cell phone. And as you can see, when you turn this on, here's the power button right here, you have three lights. I charged my cell phone from almost zero all the way up to 100% and I lost one light. So that tells me I can charge this cell phone at least three times. I'm figuring a little bit more, but we'll say three times. This has your flashlight on this end and it is very bright. And to turn it on, you will just push that power button again and to turn it off, you just push the power button again and the whole unit is off. You also have your USB ports. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Nice rubber cover to keep it all watertight. But you can see you have two ports there. to be able to charge the unit. Now, if you want to jump start a, a vehicle, you're going to come around to the side and you can see where it says engine start. We will unplug that. Again, trying to do this with one hand. The plugs are pretty snug. This is where you will plug in your jumper cables. This box will plug right in there. You can only go in one way. And like I said, you will hook up the battery first to these cables and then plug this into the lithium battery and turn this on. If I would give it just a few minutes and then go inside your vehicle and jump started. Now this also comes with a carry bag that you can put all this stuff in. Keep it all in one place, ready to use. It does come with instruction booklet and a quick setup guide. I put a cigarette lighter on top of the lithium battery so you guys will have an idea of how small this is. I was sent this to do a video about and my previous emergency go-to had been a Stanley Fat Max and it, it was a thousand amp and it was way bigger than this. I'm, I'm talking a lot bigger, which it did have a built-in air compressor in it. So uh, that's going to make it 
some bigger but like I said that was a thousand amps and this is 1600 amps and I did use that or try to use that on the Nissan Titan truck that I had the battery had went down pretty pretty far and that Stanley Fat Max would not jump that truck it just did not have enough now if the battery's not down all the way because I've tried it and it had a little bit of charge in the battery and it did jump the truck with this being at 1600 amps I foresee the winds blowing pretty good out here I foresee this being able to jump uh, a V8 uh, of course on the box it does say it works with V8 engines now my vehicle is a 2021 Jeep Cherokee and uh, I try to keep tabs on it pretty good and I don't foresee having any emergencies where I'm going to need to jump it you know I have a uh, power units and like this power unit right here I can charge my phones I can charge camera gear and I don't have to pull off of the batteries in my vehicle and then when I do start the vehicle I can plug this back in and recharge it and then if an unfortunate something happens and I need to jump start a vehicle this will be fully charged and ready but it's always great to have some type of fallback and uh, you know the great thing about these is you don't have to have jumper cables and you don't have to try to find somebody to boost you off you are a one-man band with this you can do it all by yourself and if you're in the woods and a long ways off with no cell reception and nobody near uh, you have to depend on yourself to get out of situations and having the right gear with you is part of your responsibility if you want to venture out like that so this is just as important as having a winch a air compressor and your other emergency gear so we hopefully won't ever have to use this to jump our vehicles but if we do it's there now i haven't personally jumped a vehicle with this myself but i do know people who have used this unit and it has worked on a pretty dead battery to jump a v8 engine uh, all of our engines are v6s but they are pretty power hungry so we do have a big size battery but I do feel confident that we could get a jump off of this at least we're going to hope so and with the way we camp being able to charge our camera gear and our cell phones and having that light if you need to go explore at night or maybe walk across to the restrooms that light will definitely light up a big area uh, I turned it on in our bedroom at night when everything was completely dark and it lit the whole room up so it's a very bright light but yeah lithium ion you know things have changed and they've gotten a lot smaller than the things we used to have to carry and uh, like I said if I would have sat my Stanley Fat Max up here it would have took up this whole square where all of this is spread out almost it's bigger than this box so uh, yeah it's a small package but it's got some power but I wanted to share this with y'all uh, if we get to try it out later on I'll do another video and share some of the stuff we're doing with it but for now I just wanted to show you what was in the box you got this real nice bag to put your lithium battery in your 110 plug your USB cable and your 12 volt plug and your battery jump cables and unit there all fit in this bag so if y'all are looking for something 
uh, to keep in your vehicle for emergencies, this would be something to check out. Be sure to read your manual. Uh, I have been looking at some temperatures and I don't think that I will be storing this in my vehicle. I will just put it in my go bag and when we load up to go, I'll, I'll be sure it's with us. But I don't think the hot temperatures here in Texas would be good for this, leaving it in the vehicle. So uh, that's something you might want to take into consideration with any of these power packs. But I hope some of this information has been helpful and given you an idea of uh, something that I think you should have in your emergency kit and your vehicles. And there'll be a link in the description of this video if you want to go check this out yourself. And I'll have some more information there also. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You never know what we're going to have going on next. And uh, y'all have a great day. Okay guys, I've got everything in this bag. The cigarette lighter is just kind of giving you an idea of how big the bag is. It doesn't take up much space at all. Very nice. This would make a great gift. Everybody needs to have something like this to be prepared for those unknown emergencies when your battery fails.